Hey friends, Tina here with Our Blessed and Beautiful Life. Um, this morning I thought that it would be fun just to video a day in our crazy life. <laughs> um, and you know, just see if you guys want to come and hang out with me for the day. So nothing too exciting. Um, thankfully today is just a very low key day. Um, so it's just me and little Parker hanging out and doing homeschool. And I do have to go later and pick up my grocery order that I put in yesterday. As you guys can tell, I am trying to talk a little bit more quiet because this is my quiet time in the morning before I wake up Parker. So the first thing I do when I get up in the morning is as you saw, I make my coffee. Um, I don't do anything without making my coffee. <laughs> so I make my coffee and then I come into the schoolroom and I prepare our lessons for that day. I really just wanted this video to be real. So um, I purposely did not pick up the house. Um, there are currently some little dinosaurs or I don't even know hot wheel cars I already stepped on a little motorcycle in the living room this morning so you guys that's real life right it's just it is what it is um, I am not putting on makeup this morning because on a typical homeschool day I don't put on makeup uh, unless I'm going somewhere uh, in public or I have real estate appointments or something um, this is my normal look I put on my yoga pants in the morning a little hoodie throw my hair up put my contacts in and we roll so that is real life so that's what this video is gonna be and I hope that you enjoy it and thank you for hanging out with us today so all I'm gonna do right now is prepare our lesson um, for the day and we use a Becca Parker is um, in the arithmetic. He's in the level two of everything because he's in second grade. So each morning I just come in the school room and right now we are on lesson 66 and it tells me everything I need to do. We have little practice problems that I write out on the board and then it tells me the materials that I'm going to need for the day and then also um, what we're going to be doing. So now I'm just gonna sit down. I like to go through this with a highlighter and just make sure that I know exactly what we're doing so that I'm not, you know, blindsided in the middle of a lesson with him. Okay, now that I have all of his math set out for the day and his lesson, now we're gonna dive into the language arts. So um, language arts, basically, um, it's pretty much everything else. So it's phonics, it's reading, it's writing. Um, you know, special sounds, and of course we have his second grade writing tablet, which is where he comes in and does all of his um, practice cursive writing. There's just little things we've gone over that I keep up here um, to help remind him. We're learning like the different types of sentences. Um, we're learning how to tell time. He was struggling a bit with, you know, understanding quarter till, quarter past, half past, and o'clock. So I just have this up here for him as a reminder when he gets stuck. And then these are just our daily um, review. It's basically what this is. We'll put up math and sometimes we'll do money and things like that. And then for language arts, as you can see, um, it's just basically got sentences. We're gonna be going over sentences, correcting some of them that are wrong, that obviously have like misspelling. This is supposed to be his. Um, names are not capitalized, learning and remembering where punctuation marks go and things like that. So we do this daily review um, every morning during our lesson. All right, you guys, what I normally do now after I finish getting all of Parker's lesson ready for the school day is just come out and have my quiet time and finish my coffee um, and read my Bible. So I am, let's see, where am I at? I am in the book of 2 John. I did read from Revelations to Genesis in one year, and that was pretty awesome. So now I'm just kind of working my way back through. Um, I think I started in Acts, and I'm just going book by book. And so this morning, I'm in 2 John. So you guys, I have to tell you I've seen a lot of moms um, especially homeschooling moms that are like how do you do it all in a day um, <laughs> like I see that question everywhere and it's like you know what 
we we don't we don't do it all in a day right we all just do the best that we can so I multitask all throughout the day so I have finished reading um, my Bible reading for this morning I finished my cup of coffee and I'm getting ready to go in and wake up Parker to start the day um, but I am doing some laundry first I had started some laundry last night and I need to switch my loads over so and so once I'm done getting this laundry folded um, I'm gonna go in and wake up little P and I'm so thankful he stayed asleep this morning um, we have these two wild crazy cats that are if you guys have cats you know they're like holy terrors right um, and we have our, our two dogs so it's there are some mornings where the animals will wake Parker up and I'm just like oh my gosh because if you're a mom you know those quiet moments in the morning are just like um, crucial for getting started on the right foot right for the day so um, this morning he has stayed asleep and I'm so grateful for that as he's getting older he's sleeping in longer um, and but you know as far as the routine you guys for for Parker and I um, I have tried several different things several different ideas uh, just from watching other moms and kind of what they do with their homeschool routine and I've tried that structured rigid schedule um, and it just doesn't work for us it it does not work for us the only thing I do um, is I do set my alarm on the weekdays to get up and I get up every morning around six o'clock in the morning and, you know have my morning routine that I just showed you guys and then I allow Parker to sleep in basically um, I don't have a set time I typically get him up anywhere between eight and nine o'clock in the morning and we come out and uh, do our reading time and breakfast and then we jump into our school day and our school day typically lasts about anywhere from two to three hours depending on the lesson the lessons for that day our routine is is a routine because we have kind of this set pattern the same pattern that we do every day i'm just not rigid with the times because um that's part of why I'm doing this. That's part of why I quit my full-time job and I have I run my own business. Uh, and that's part of why I am, you know, homeschooling Parker so that we can do things that feel good to us and that makes sense for us, for our bodies and the way that we want to do things. Um, after we get done with the school day, we do lunch and then it's just free time basically. And I do um, allow breaks during school if he needs to go to the bathroom you know if he wants a snack or some water um, I typically don't have like a big break in between math and language arts because like I said our whole school day takes about two and a half three hours so we take a little breaks in between but I do my personality is I like to get it done and out of the way so that we can enjoy the rest of the day and Parker really likes that you know so we're we're done with school and lunch by no later than like one o'clock in the afternoon all right I'm gonna finish this laundry and then we will sneak in and go wake up little Parker good morning Good morning. Good morning. How are you this morning? I love you this morning. I love you, I do. Look who came to say good morning. That's your little Leo? Yeah. Um, so I thought you're supposed to sleep inside your dream tent. No? You're sleeping on the opposite side of your bed. What happened? You like sleeping on the on the outside and just put your feet on the inside? Yeah. Yeah. You sleep good? Mm -hmm. Yeah? You ready to start our day? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do it. Come out and play. It works for now to keep the chickens in until we can get a better um, a better setup for them, so. Here you go, guys. Okay, come on, Speckles. All right, so I'm just gonna see if we have any eggs this morning. Hey, girls. Hey. <laughs> Nothing yet? Okay, I'll leave you be. Sorry to interrupt. So I'm just gonna make a simple breakfast for me and Parker. Um, he really likes scrambled egg sandwiches, so I'm gonna make him some scrambled eggs and put that on some wheat toast and then I'm gonna have the same thing I like to just throw a little bit of <clears throat> salsa on my scrambled eggs to give it some flavor and then I'm gonna cut us up um, each of us is gonna have a fresh apple on the side 
getting my water. Getting his water. We had a talk the other day about the importance of drinking water, right? Yeah. Yeah, so he's been doing really good. He's been drinking like three of those little pint jars a day, which doesn't seem like much, but that's a huge improvement from before, huh, buddy? Mm -hmm. And then we have our breakfast is done and ready. Parker's got his little egg sandwich with some apples. And then I have just my scrambled eggs and salsa with some uh, 15, what is that? 15 grain wheat bread, I love that bread. And then just some fresh apples for me too. And then I like to, after I have my coffee in the morning, <clears throat> I like to have um, my water. So if I'm not working out, um, when I'm working out, I like to drink tons of water and I'll just drink regular water. But throughout the day when I'm doing school, I do like something with a little bit more flavor. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is like one of my favorite things. I've discovered the world of sparkling water. And so this is 100% natural. Um, no sweeteners, no artificial anything. Like it's just literally carbonated water. And this is my favorite kind, it's cranberry apple. So I bought this awesome little kids devotional book for Parker and it says um, indescribable 100 devotions about God and science. So it's been really awesome for him. Um, it's got a daily devotional in there and it gives like a daily prayer and then it talks special facts about you know like this looks like we may, may be looking at um, the aurora borealis and talking about the northern lights in today's devotion so read his um either history or science there's this comes with the abeka curriculum so there's history books and science books and so we just finished our health safety and manners so now we're moving on to our um, science book. But I do like getting the book still so that for morning reading, Parker and I can go through. And I just love the colors. Um, Abeka just has, you know, awesome illustrations. And as you can see, Parker is now standing in his chair because he's just, he loves all the pictures and everything. So these are really fun. This is our morning reading that we do. And then Parker has his evening reading that he does and this is also from the abeka curriculum he has several he has a whole set of um, books that he goes through so right now he's in the across the meadow book but in the evening we sit down before bed and he reads to me for about 15 to 20 minutes and that's kind of just what we do and it seems to work so can you say that Aurora Borealis. Aurora Borealis. It's crazy, huh? So that's that's why people call them the Northern Lights, because that's easier to say. Try to say it the kind of fast. Aurora Borealis, Aurora Borealis, Aurora... Nope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your turn. Aurora <laughs> Yeah. I, yesterday we learned about the brain and the eyeball. Do you remember talking about the brain and the eyeball? Yeah. Okay. So today we're going to read about ears and... That's a short one, so we might even go into your nose and your tongue. We'll see. So it's kind of cute at the end of each little um, lesson in the science book. It has like a little activity for him. So he likes doing the, the drawing of the lines to match up what goes to what. So we are um, wrapping up breakfast and Thus, we are wrapping up our reading for this morning. So um, we are gonna get everything cleaned up here. And then what I try to do, and again, this does not happen successfully every day, um, but my goal is to try and have Parker knock out all of his chores first thing in the morning as soon as we get done with our morning reading before we head into the school um, lessons for the day. For chores, I have this little chore chart that I made up for the kids. It is nothing fancy. Um, and I actually didn't have any extra binders, so I just put them in document protectors and tied them together. So um, Lexi has the top half and Parker has the bottom half. So every day they come and look at this and they can flip to whatever day of the week it is and see exactly what they have to do. Today is Friday. So he'll open this up and come and look and he has, um, he's got to unload the dishwasher. He's gonna clean the litter box. He's gonna collect the eggs later on today. Um, and then he also has to dust.
Где? Мам. Все. Дэд. Let's do another one. You ready? Yeah. Okay. So let's try. Um, so let's try 273. 273. So if we're counting by tens, what's our after number? What do we know stays the same when we count by tens? The three. The ones place. Very good. Which is a three. Good job. All right. Go ahead, buddy. Start at the top. Okay. If you asked, watches. 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 Like she watches the movie. Colder, colder. Colder. Sunny. Yep. So now you are going to practice these words one time. All right. Can you turn music on? Yep, I can turn some music on for you. Okay, you guys, so we took a little break in between math and language arts, and I did go and put some of my face on because we are getting ready to leave after school to go pick up groceries, so in an effort not to scare the Walmart guy, I threw on a little bit of mascara and some makeup. <laughs> But, um, so Parker is in there right now finishing up language arts. He's doing his spelling words. And then after that, he does have a cursive worksheet that he does every day to practice his cursive writing, which I'm just so proud of him. He's doing so well with his cursive writing. Um, and after he's done with that, we are gonna eat a quick lunch and then we are gonna head out to Walmart to go pick up our grocery order. So I went ahead and um, defrosted some chicken breast. So later on, I'm gonna do some chicken and dumplings. And what I like to do is put my chicken breast in the crock pot and let them simmer throughout the day. Um, and then when they're done cooking, I can just shred all the meat apart for my chicken and dumplings. It's a pretty quick and easy dinner. Um, and it's one of our favorites. It's a recipe my mom gave me and it's just such a comfort food. It's a little gloomy and chilly outside today. So I thought some chicken and dumplings would be a perfect fit. All right, so Parker's decided that he wants to do his cursive uh, worksheet while he eats his lunch. Right, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so he just has a simple lunch today. I just made him some chicken nuggets and um, some homemade applesauce. I canned up a bunch of jars of homemade applesauce and it is by far one of his favorite snacks. So maybe I'll do a video on homemade applesauce if you don't know how to make it. It's super simple. Okay, I don't know about you guys at the end of a grocery cycle, like what your fridge looks like, but our fridge looks like a bomb went off. It is, you know, some empty shelves going on and some nastiness and leftovers that need to be thrown out and gone, you know, given to the chickens. So before I head out to the grocery store really quick, I have another really fun mom job and that is cleaning out the refrigerator. Okay, so after cleaning everything out, this is what we're left with. <laughs> And this is all the garbage that we do not need. Okay, so I told you guys this Walmart grocery pickup is like the next best thing to slice bread, right? So, um, and my app looks a little wonky. I think I need to actually download the newest app. However, um, this is my pickup time, ooh, where am I at? That I reserve for today, Friday, January 31st, anytime between one and 2 p.m. So this is how easy this is, you guys. It is so awesome. Grocery pickup saved my life. So you just hit the check-in button. It says check-in successful, we'll see you soon. You ready, Pete? Yeah. Okay, let's go. It is 1.14. Um, so this is pretty typical for us. We get done with school, like I said, anywhere between 12.30 and one. 
that's you know getting done with school and also lunch so you know it's kind of like half day for us and there are days where I have um, real estate appointments or you know doctor's appointments with the kids or whatever you know like how life is um, where I've actually I'll just flip-flop my day so instead of doing school in the morning I will go and do all my errands or my appointments and stuff in the morning and then come home and do school in the afternoon or split it up and do maybe do math in the morning and then do language arts in the evening or the afternoon so that's like one of the best things that I've found so far um, one of the many with homeschooling is it's so flexible to my life I absolutely love that we are heading to pick up our grocery pickup order now and I'm just gonna show you guys how awesome this is maybe you already use grocery pickup um, you know high five whoosh, because it's awesome if not you're gonna see how amazing this is all right, so we are here at Walmart Pickup, and as you can see, they have different parking spots. You just park in front of a number, and then you go on your app, and you tell them what number you're in, and they come out and load up your car. How you doing? Hey, good, how are you? Hey, Ms. Watson? Yes. Want to see your age? Only ask my mom her age. Oh, you're so polite. <laughs> then I feel funny doing somebody else. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, you too. And just like that, Walmart grocery pickup is done. And he even closed my trunk for me. So I'm like, okay, little homie, if you can just do me a favor and come over to my house and um, clean out my fridge and, you know, bring my groceries in the house too, that would be fantastic. I never go into Walmart anymore. This is one of the most amazing ideas anybody ever came up with. And for moms, busy moms, um, whether you're homeschooling or not, this is just amazing. I used to dread grocery shopping. Every payday, I would make my list and I would literally spend, you know, start to finish driving time in there. I would, it would be a three hour fiasco just to get groceries. Um, and I absolutely hated it. So I did stop and splurge a little bit and got myself a coffee because I really like this um, seasonal Irish cream cold brew. It is absolutely delicious with two pumps of syrup and um, I get the vanilla cream in it. So that's my favorite. And then a little Parker. What did you get, P? Gets birthday cake cake favorite. pop. Yep, birthday cake cake pop. All right, so I just got home from the grocery store. So I've got lots of stuff to put away. Look at all the stuff that I did not have to hand pick all by myself. The Walmart peeps do it for me. Gotta love it. Got more down here. And I'm so grateful because me and Lexi usually tackle the groceries together. And Lexi does the pantry. She does all the dry goods, which is awesome. And I love her for that. Did you know that, Lex? I'm sure you do. <laughs> what are we gonna do without you? Really? Lexi graduates in just a few short months and she turns 18 in two months. My it's little... actually like a month and like 25 days, but it's good. Oh, but nobody's counting, right? Mm -mm. So yeah, my little baby. My little baby is not a baby no more. And then I'm gonna have to do the pantry all by myself. What am I gonna do? You better train up your brother, sister. That's all I got to say. Better train him up real good. Okay. So we finally have everything put away. Everything's all organized. And I, I like to cut up strawberries and everything and put them in a big Tupperware because it seems like when I cut them up like this, they get eaten a lot faster. So we've got some of these clementines. These are like some of our favorites. They're so easy to peel. Such a good snack. Lots of veggies for this week for dinners and lots of fruit. Um, we, love, we love pears and apples and strawberries and oranges, so. So I'm just cutting up all the veggies for the chicken and dumplings. Um, chicken and dumplings are so easy to make. That's one reason I really like to make them. You just kind of throw everything in the pot, heat it up, and then make your dumplings and serve it with like a simple cheesy bread or something. Um, so I'm gonna get this all cut up and that way when I come in from working out in the garage, all I have to do is throw it all in the pot and heat it up and we'll be good to go. 
All right, you guys, hey, I am in the garage now, as you can probably tell. We had a membership at the gym at the YMCA. Um, there's like $100 a month, and when we moved to the new property, it's now like 20, 25, 30 minutes away from our new house. And so when you look at basically an hour of driving, um, that's a whole hour of my day that I really just, I can't afford to sacrifice for driving. Um, so what Joe and I have done is we've slowly started building up some workout equipment and our garage has become kind of our home gym. And I canceled the membership at the YMCA and so now we just come out in the garage and we work out and it's so much more convenient for me. Well, I usually do 20 to 30 minutes of cardio um, and then I have like my workout routine that I do and like today I'm gonna be doing legs and abs. So I'm gonna get my workout on. I only have about an hour to get it done. All right, you guys, so I just finished my workout, got my abs done and my legs and some cardio, so I'm feeling pretty good. Um, you always feel crappy on those days that you're like, man, I was supposed to work out today and I didn't. It's like, if you can just get in there for 30 minutes to an hour, I mean, something is better than nothing, right? So I've got all my veggies going. And then I shredded my chicken over here. So this was cooked in a crock pot. And then I just do simple dumplings with um, Bisquick. So it's a really simple recipe. Nice fluffy dumplings every time. So today was a productive day and I just wanted to thank you very much for hanging out with me today in this day in the life video. This is something kind of new. I've never done one of these before. This is kind of like a normal mom day for me. and. Um, we did school and we did some laundry and I did grocery shopping, got the fridge cleaned out, got dinner made, got my workout in. Um, just a lot of stuff accomplished today, so I think it was a success. We definitely have days where we're running around like crazy. Um, today wasn't really one of those days and I cherish these days. So um, yeah, anyway, if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, I look at those to see if you're liking, if you're enjoying the content. Um, so give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, um, I am so glad you're here and I would love for you to subscribe and stick around because we do enjoy sharing our journey with you guys. Okay, so the house smells like chicken and dumplings. Um, Nampa should be here soon for dinner and I'm excited this is wrapping up the end of a wonderfully productive day. So take care everybody and I will see you on the next video.